And so far this year alone, we've reported at least six domestic violence murders just this year. And NBC 6's Sofia Hernandez joins us in the studio. And Sofia, you spoke to experts who say there has been an uptick in these kinds of cases, right? Yes, that's exactly right. Since 2020, there's been an 8.1% increase in these kinds of cases, 500% of them ending in gun violence. And here in South Florida, in just this month alone, there's been three domestic violence cases ending in murder. Alessana Forden is the owner and director of Lotus Counseling Center. She says that after the pandemic, individuals have had a difficult time regulating their feelings and have instead resorted to hurting those they love. Unfortunately, many people project onto another person what they're feeling and kind of point the finger outward rather than, OK, let's take a minute here and really look at how are we participating in this. It's one of the many reasons that leads to domestic violence murders. Dr. Daniel Bober says these cases could also result from feeling unworthy. People face tremendous pressure uh, to be a certain person, to look a certain way, to play a certain role. And when they feel like they can't meet up to those expectations, for some people that's overwhelming. And the only thing they can do, that last gasp, if you will, is to take control of the situation. While the reasons as to why they happen vary, we've seen these cases play out this month on three different occasions. Tuesday, an apparent attempted double murder took place in this plantation home, the husband allegedly killing the wife and two-year-old son. Last week, a man shot a woman he was romantically associated with and her roommate in their apartment off Bird Road. And at the beginning of the month, a father killed his wife and two children in their Miami-Dade home. In all three of these cases, the murderer also attempted to or died by suicide. So a lot of it, believe it or not, has to do with this concept that we call toxic masculinity in society. And it's how traditional gender roles are defined. The male has a certain role as the provider and the protector. And when they can no longer uh, be in that role anymore, they have a breakdown. They lose their ability uh, to control their behaviors and they cross over into violence. Experts in the field say it's difficult to predict if we are seeing the beginning of a trend of even more domestic violence murder cases in our area. But what they can advise is to seek help if you find yourself in an unsafe situation. Now, experts say there are ways to defuse conflicts before they reach this magnitude of violence. You can always remove yourself from a situation, speak to a family member or a public resource like a counselor or a therapist. And if a situation has already escalated, you can make a safety plan outlining where you will go and what you will do if things take a turn. In the studio, Sophia Hernandez, NBC6 News.